family to feed. So let's get into this tea. What up, Kuh? Uh, We're about to get into Corey spent the night with Carmen and officially took him. Well, she officially took him back. Sierra knocked down Runic door after. Let's get it. Even more surrounding this whole situation with Carmen and Corey. Now, as you guys know, I recently reported that Carmen and Corey were allegedly in the same hotel room. Then Carmen came out and put out a video stating, no, she was not in the hotel room with Corey. Corey actually found out that she was at the hotel and came and rented a room in the same hotel to make it look like he was there with Carmen. Now, I also reported that Corey touched down in Houston yesterday just to get a haircut, then drive back out to Alabama. Well, people were paying close attention to Corey's background when he did a recording for Instagram. I mean, it's only right that I get on here and really just address my supporters, you know? Hey, I'm gonna say this, man. You know, I fuck with y'all the long way. I love y'all, you know? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I run this shit. Like, this is my turf, so. So now if we go back to Carmen's video, the one that she posted about receiving those flowers, we can see Carmen's apartment in the back. And that... See, we so messy. Apartment... I love it. Looks very <laughs> similar to the place that Corey was recording in yesterday. As you can see, <laughs> the door frames are the same. The blinds, the fans, the trim at the top by the ceiling is even the same color. Now, Carmen has a very unique apartment. So for Corey to be oh, in a... Oh, you know what I was just thinking with my stupid ass? I thought that was the house. I forgot Corey got rid of it. He had the apartment. <laughs> An apartment that looks exactly like hers. Yo. It appears that he may have been in her house while in Houston. <laughs> I be having y'all. I be having y'all doing all y'all little details, trying to figure shit out. How y'all feel trying to do y'all little research and shit? Doing y'all little detail, head ass. I just be playing with y'all. <laughs> Hey, look, hey, look. We y'all tickets, man. Y'all know what time it is. I just hate that he always ready to give up the, the play. He always ready to give up the play. I hate that. Now, there's really no way around this one. I mean, it's very clear that he was at her house. I mean, the only thing that we can say here is maybe he was there to see the kids. Carmen did state that the kids were with her mom, but I'm not sure if Carmen's mom moved back to Alabama or if she's in Houston and maybe Corey stopped by Carmen's house to see the kids. No, he, he stopped by Carmen's house to see that cat. Okay. He wanted to see that cat. Okay. Carmen a trip. Here she gonna come cussing us out again. But I didn't hear any kids in the background of those videos that Corey were posting. And this morning as I was recording this video, Corey was on Instagram live. Now as you can <laughs> see the background here, the light fixtures in the tea room. The back appear to be the same light oh fixtures that are in Carmen's apartment. So it appears that Corey may I'm have. I'm so glad that T Room don't show her face. And I'm saying that because she can just pull out anything out her ass. And thank you, T Room, for letting me talk about it. <laughs> Y'all can't get mad at me. T Room put it out for her. She put it out for her. So now. I could talk about it because y'all can't, you can't get mad at me for talking about facts. Okay. I know everybody is a, um, investigator. I'm broke. I'm a diga. I have to say these things cause that's what they be saying. Big back mountain. Just, you know, yeah. I, I. <laughs> that don't take away from the fact. That he at your house, Carmen, and your ass was lying. Your lying ass. I knew she was lying. Crazy. I've spent the night with Carmen. Carmen said, don't put me with that man. 
Okay. Women. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next topic with Runic and Sierra. Now, some things went down last night after Sierra showed up to Runic's house to get her kids. Apparently, Runic was supposed to be watching the kids and he had people at his house that she didn't approve of. So when she showed up to get them, Runic wouldn't let her in. Okay. Go away! You wasn't called to be here. Go away. Go away! Why are you here? Stop! Go away. We just seen all this. I don't want to watch it again. Crazy! I was on the phone with my friend the whole time. You punched me eight times with those videos. That's the pipe. Here for bitch. So no, after he posted. Oh. So no, after he posted those videos, Sierra then went to post trying to play victim is crazy. I was on the phone with my friend the whole time. You punched me eight times in my head and ripped off my wig all because I was trying to get my kids. I wouldn't have punched her, but she damn sure would have went across that kitchen, um, that kitchen counter. First of all, why you kicking my door? That's number one. Number two, if we not together and I got my child, I got my child. Number two. Number three, why you thought it was safe to come in here anyway? I don't know. Her ass would have been tossed right over that kitchen counter. No cap. No cap. I don't agree with punching in the head eight times, but I do agree with a good tossing across that counter all right the nigga don't want to press charges but get quick to go on social media it's okay because i press charges you didn't because you know that you're not the victim you know that you're not the victim you know i wouldn't pay for nothing else for her water would be cut off food would be cut off everything and then i would have to take it to court to get my children what are you doing Man, these young ass people be crazy. You know what you did? As soon as I came to your house trying to get my kids because you have somebody that literally at your house, had different men, had people who don't even like me around my kids, I told you that that's not respecting me. You need to respect the mother of your child. And yes, I'm going to pull up to come get my kids. What's the problem? You may. Mm -mm. He got to respect the child. You don't matter. The problem? Oh my god. Because all those people were there and you felt like, oh, I don't gotta answer the door. And you wanna come out the outside and beat my ass and make me black out. And then all these niggas wanna laugh about this shit. Y'all think that shit's funny. I swear to God, karma's gonna come for all. So then Runic posts, I've always told y'all this girl was crazy, always playing victim. This is not the first time she done this either. When you pull up in a nigga's house, that's a lion's den, y'all. Stop driving to these niggas' houses and thinking that you stop. I don't know. I don't know why y'all like to play with men. I'm not going to lie. Like, especially this way. And don't think that you might potentially get your ass beat. Unless you're going over there with a Glockiana. You know, I don't understand. There, Man, I'm tired of this ish. The media always cover ish when she downplay me. This is the real her. Then Sierra goes on to post runic tv you always want to play victim yet still on probation for your other cases that you still haven't beat i'm a wonderful mother and a very protective mother i do not play about who is around my kids i let you have them for two hours because you told me nobody was at your house i quickly found out that was a lie you literally had people who don't like me and a man that tried to sa me at your house why would i want my kids around that I told you to bring me my kids. You said no. So, yes, I came to try to get yeah, them. Yeah, she really mad about that man who she claimed um, tried to SA her. And I'm not saying she's lying. I don't know. But, um, unfortunately, you just can't control who's in his house. You wouldn't answer the door. You still wouldn't give me them. Even when I went to the back, you ended up coming out the back door, <sighs> punching me eight times in the face until I fell out. As soon as I got up, the videos he posted is when I go inside trying to grab my kids. And punching her in the face with no marks is crazy. That nigga was missing. 
and I'm being attacked by men. He starts recording after knowing I don't have my phone. He took it. You're a liar, a manipulator, and a predator, but we're going to get on that another day. Today, you are an abuser and a horrible father that I will never let be around my kids again. So then Runic goes live on Instagram to tell his side of the story of what just occurred. Look. You hear him? I'm chilling. You hear him? We mm -hmm. in here playing Baccarat. Tell him, Reg, how much we hit for today? Yeah, I didn't hit for about $4,000. $4,000. $4, so okay, we, okay, we, okay. we up a couple bands today. We mm -hmm. playing Baccarat. We just chilling. You hear me? We ain't doing nothing. Right. Man, she come, come pull up out of nowhere. I got my kids with me. You hear me? Yo, what the hell is Baccarat? So I'm supposed to have the kids today on some cool shit. You know, I'm just mm -hmm. vibing. I ain't got no girl in here, nothing. I'm just vibing with the boys, you hear me? We just cooling. Mm -hmm. So she pull up. Man, she come in this bitch going crazy. Well, first she couldn't come through the front door, so she Prize came through pit. the back door. Right. She got the banging on that bitch. Bang, 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 trying to pick up shit, trying to break this bitch. I'm like, man, she tripped. I took the camera out, started recording her ass, you hear me? Right. So look. Man, I walk away for about 10 seconds. I'm trying to get the kids shit. She opened the door somehow. I don't know how she opened that bitch. Bang, the door opened up. She come in this bitch crashing. Bang. Mm -hmm. She come in this. There you go. My Wi-Fi went out a little bit. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, so look, she come in this bitch going crazy. Next thing you know, she crashing. I took the camera out. I said, man, I can't. I can't let this slide. I got to record everything. Same. Everything you see on my Instagram, that's what you see. After that, she left. You heard me? The police, as soon as she was about to leave, the police pulled up. So the police like, yeah, what's going on? So she get the yapping. You Messy know, she going to get the tea. I said, man, why? Yeah, I didn't know who that I was. I showed them the video. They said, oh, yeah, Spirit. yeah, she tripping. You want to send her to jail? Man, I kept it so real, bro. I kept it so solid, though, bro. Real shit. I kept it so solid. I said, I don't want to see her in jail. Just send her by her way. Real shit. Because mm. look, the police said, you got the option to send her to jail right now. You could send her to jail and it, it, it'll be over with. I said, nah, I'm going to keep it so solid, bro. I'm going to just I'm gonna just let her go home, bro. Real Bet. shit. Real shit. Just because I'm going to just keep it like that. And and she on here yapping, talking about I don't do shit for my kids, but I, I pay for her rent. I pay for my kids shit. I spend thousands every fucking week, and everybody can vouch this shit. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Now, now, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a Libra. We scale things out, and we honestly get down to the truth. So, you know, I had a conference call with her on my exclusive. Now, you know, things were said, and she basically stated how she came to the apartment. She wanted her kids. She said that it already no, triggered my her. My house, not apartment. I, I mean, got a house. Uh, uh, shit, I'm sorry. House. I'm sorry. My fault. She said that she went to your house, she wanted her kids, it bothered her because there was numerous of people there that she did not get along with. She also stated that there was a guy by the name of Bobby that she had issues with in the past, whatever y'all know of, you get what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. That occurred with her and Bobby and she didn't feel comfortable with her children being around Bobby only because of what Bobby tried to do to her. She said that she told you about this in the past. She didn't like how that was done and handled. So she just wanted to get her kids out the environment. She said that um, punches was landed on her a few times. She heard giggling and laughing. Somebody picked her phone up, put it in the backyard. She got the recordings of when she got punched. Why, Rich, what you about to... <laughs> <laughs> Rich, what you laughing at? <laughs> now, I right, look. So one, Bobby don't even live here. Two, all right. So two, who she got a problem with? You talking about Juicy? She called Juicy hands out in this bitch. Out of every girl in this house, so how she called? How her wig get off though? Why she gonna fight Juicy? She took that bitch off. She trying to fight Juicy. So you tell her she said <laughs> what? Juicy, <laughs> am I lying? Swear to God, man. Hey, man, look. She said, Juicy, what you want? She said, Juicy, you want? I said, oh. I said, damn. Juicy, you want to do something that's crazy. Hey, what you said, Juicy? She did her issue this weekend. All right. No. Man, look. Bobby not even. She talking about Bobby. Man, Bobby not even here, man. 
burning for me. Baby, not even here, man. She threw a cup and it almost hit me, and I said, "Watch where you throwing stuff." And she said, "What you want to do?" I said, "I call somebody for you." So I'll call I somebody for you. you. To beat up for me. <laughs> he is dying like Wait, stop juicy, me, man. juicy, juicy. She tried to fight you. <laughs> out, of, out of every bro, I'm not even the bitch for her what? baby daddy. Like, so what? I don't know. Oh my fucking god! Come on now. <laughs> hey, look, but look, but look, we got to go into like details you. before that. Oh she was hitting, bro. She thought like one of my people named Bebe, Bebe E N T. He got a girl over here, right? Well, had a girl over here that he was doing content with. She was an influencer. So I'm thinking, Bebe over there hitting Juicy. Baby wasn't hitting Juicy. Baby. <laughs> and they was collaborating. So whenever Rich was on live, she seen her. Other little girl. Other little girl was hitting Juicy. In the background and assumed that I was fucking with the girl. Which she, you know, this ain't the first time she always <laughs> doing that shit. I she mean, when she go low, Juicy can go lower. It's hilarious. Which I'm not. She oh a, my god. She accused me of me and Lynette sleeping together. She accused me of me and Lexa sleeping mm -hmm. together. She accused me of so many people sleeping together, which is crazy. Cause, come on, bro, I'm a businessman, bro. At the hey. end of the day, and she always coming out saying I did this, did that, but she never got no proof. She never. She just saying shit just to try to tell me out because she see I'm coming up. Mm -hmm. And that, with me coming up, she don't like the fact that I'm coming up and I'm sharing my wealth with her. Cause motherfucker, you wasn't in the gym shooting them shots with me. Hello. Come on mm -hmm. now, you wasn't putting that work in with Talk me. Talk about it. You mm -hmm. tripping, man? Talk about okay. it. She tripping, okay, so, man. So, 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 okay, hold up. Let's let's rewind back real quick. You and Bobby don't have no relations. You cut him completely off, right? Because that's maybe where the under the misunderstanding is coming from, especially on her part, because she feel like you still have a friendship with Bobby. So maybe it's more so of it being because it starts from there. That seems like the issue. Damn. Well, um, I thought Bebe was doing it to Juicy. I ain't gonna lie. When he said uh, it was a woman in the house, I thought that's what it was. That wasn't even it. But, child, I'm done with this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.